late. I remember how crazy you used to be about being on time. <laughs> well, we hurry now. We can make up for lost time, all right? <laughs> Boy, we got a lot of catching yeah. up to do. I cleared the decks at the office, so I'll have the whole three days off. We're going to have one hell of a Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> yes, Gary we will. Young. Paging right. Mr. Gary Young. What, what's wrong? Please why why are you stop? The they just called my name. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know that. It, uh, oh, that, that was me. What was you? Well, I had him page you, man, because I was sitting down there, and you were late. Gary! Oh, well, don't you think you should go in and tell them that you found me? Oh, no, no, they'll figure out this is the airport. Here, the kids will show you where the car is. Let me just go in and tell them. But, no, 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 no. I, oh, here, now, you take the kids. Um, I, I'll do it, OK? Because, I, I mean, I was rude. I don't know what I was thinking about. I'll go ahead. I'm jet lag. I'm so tired. Ooh, hurry up. Press on. We got We got so much to talk about. So good to see you again. It's so good. The white the Derek? Derek! Oh, oh! <laughs> yeah. oh. Good to have you with us. <laughs> yes, right. Derek? Derek Bond? Yes? Hi, I'm Pete, Gary's executive personal assistant. Yeah, so? Yes, can I speak to you for a second, please? Come with me, please. Please, Gary sent me to tell you that he's very sorry, but you can't stay with him this weekend. What? Why not? His wife, man, she's ill. What's wrong with her? It's, uh, it's uh, botulism. Botulism. This is terrible. I mean, what about the thing I came to do? Well, what thing, man? I mean, we're talking about the disease, man. Ain't no thing. It's off. It's off. It's off. There's no thing. Well, great. I don't want to do that damn thing anyway. I hate those things. Did Gary mention anything? I mean, did, uh, is, is there anything I can do for them? As a matter of fact, there's two things he wants you to do. What? Well, well, first of all, they want you to wear this hat. No, I don't, I don't wear hats. Man, the woman's in the coma. The least you can do is wear the hat, okay? I'll wear the hat. This is the most important. Whatever you do, do not. Call the house. Why not? The sound triggers it off, man. That phone rings. Bam! I'm talking about vomit coming up. The woman's got the shit. This is ugly, man. Phone was coming out the mouth. You don't want to see that. Yeah, that's ugly. Listen here, Gary's gonna call you when everything's all right. And you wear that hat, keep up alive. Hey, you see him? Can you see him? Do you see him? Like I that? see him. Oh. Out of the way. Got a place. Oh, oh, sorry. Wrong guy. Me too. Help! Party started. <laughs> Great. Uh, Jason, do you have your seatbelt on? No. We're not leaving till you put it on. Jason took my seatbelt. Jason, give your sister back her seatbelt. Now tell Sarah you're sorry. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Sorry. Get the car, Joey. Wally, get the car! Hey, hey, hey! That's my car! That's my brother's car! Oh, uh, you wanted to turn off here. I, I can we, make it. But you can take the next. I can't do this with an American car. <laughs> oh, boy. You have changed. You used to be so uptight when we were kids. You used to lecture us on bicycle safety. I have been sane since, since the accident. What accident? I was scuba diving in the Cayman Islands with my friends, and we're out there looking for Stingray, and all of a sudden, two great white sharks came out of nowhere. Bam! Just attacked us, and it was, it was, just, it was vicious. It was like I was seeing off a jaws. I, and it, it was just bloods and bubbles and butts and everything was. The, and then I, I saw him bite my friend. His head came off, and his eye was on me. His eye was on me. Oh God! Oh, easy. Oh. oh my God. Oh. Oh. I'm okay. Well, this is great. 
Yeah. This is great. I mean, this is really great. I can't believe after all these years it only took one phone call to get your butt to Pittsburgh so we could rekindle that old friendship. Well, you know what they say, uh, Gary. Uh, friends don't grow on trees. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, remember how we always used to sing this song? Good night, Irene. Good night. Good ride, Irene. Good night. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I wish I had some Dairy Queen. I'll play it. I'll see you in my dream. Say, how's your wife? Heard she was ill. My wife? Yeah. Um, she's dead, Gary. What? I just spoke to her yesterday. I mean, she's dead inside, um, from the loss of our son. Your son? I thought he's at Princeton. That's what I mean. See, we, we, we thought we lost our son to the Ivy League. Oh. <laughs> we just misplaced them momentarily. You misplaced a person momentarily? I guess we did, yeah. If Gallagher. I don't get that money by the conclusion of this holiday weekend, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, no, boy, boy, looks like don't be pissed. Get... Oh. Lotto's on. Lotto? Louder? To win one million dollars. Oh. Give it a spin. Where'd he go? Let's see where it stops. What? Hello? Listen, goddammit. I'm on Franklin. Are you gonna be looking at the wrong end of an ice pick? Oh, God. Very closely. We'll find him, I swear to God. Give me that pepper. Happy's not happy. Who is he now? Hi, girl. Hi. Derek, I really have to thank you again. You're welcome. No, thanks for agreeing to do this thing today. The thing? Well, I mean, how bad could it be? I mean, when you stop and think about it, I mean, what is this thing, really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're a braver man than I. Derek Vaughn, Derek Nancy Pike. Mrs. Pike is the head oh. of the school board and my boss's wife. Oh. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to meet you, Derek. Yes. But I wonder if I could just hurry you along because yes. we're just a little bit late. Just come right this way. Um, Everybody, listen. Catch you later, buddy. Come right up these stairs right here. No, it's all right. We just have to go through the curtain here. And here we are. Now, Derek, if I could just ask you to sit down there. Oh, gentlemen, we are about to begin. Would you please take your seats? Thank you. <laughs> Greetings, students and faculty. On behalf of the Swickley School Foundation, I want to personally welcome all our distinguished speakers and all of you to Career Day. Now, let me introduce you to our first speaker, Derek Bond. But first, let me tell you a few things about Derek. He has come a long way to talk to us today, and he has had a distinguished career as a... Um, <laughs> a professional in his field, but I will let him tell you all about that. Join me in a warm welcome for Derek Bond. It's now. There he is, honey. Mrs. Pike for the uh, warm welcome uh, dressing speech. Um, <laughs> yeah. Career. Sit down. Ooh, I had some notes. Um, I need to go to the car. I had some notes. If I go get those notes, 
I think we should let the man with the high water pants go first, because his pants are getting very short. <laughs> oh, Derek, you know you're just joking. You know your secretary has sent all your slides ahead of oh, you. Oh, she did? Yes. Harvey, will you start the slideshow, please? Yes. Here is your clicker, and I know you know what to say. Yeah, we'll, we'll click them. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Harvey. <laughs> Beautiful dress. Oh, yeah. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Ooh, a sandwich is a sandwich, but that's a meal. Ooh, I wonder what that'd be like with a nice lemonade. <laughs> that looks like this out of my refrigerator. <laughs> what is that? Oh. It's time to have Dr. Von Weissenberg, who's the leading hair transplant scientist in the country, to discuss. <laughs> Not to Thank you, Professor Von, whatever, but I'm sure we have time for just one question. Oh, yes, Mr. Ichabod, the head of our science department. Uh, chapter five of your book. You said there are many things you would do differently if you could do them over again. What did you mean by that? Uh, chapter five. In your book? What I meant by that when I put that in there was that um, I padded the book immensely. I probably would eliminate chapter five and gone straight to six. I wrote it because you have to have five to get to six. You don't have the slightest idea of what you're talking about, do you? Well, listen here. So if you know so much about what I do, since you know more than I do, then why don't you come up here, Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. I Don't Have a Woman? Well, why I, uh... don't you come up here and tell me, Mr. Icky Body? I'm waiting. <laughs> Sorry. You are it. And Pat's got Well, you know that kid. She just let me know. Oh, I want you to meet my oldest, Brooke. Derek, Brooke, sweetie, this is Derek Bond. Hey. And this is Brooke's, uh... Friend, Steve. Yo, my man. How many times I gotta tell you I ain't down with Steve, kid? Call me T3. T3. Yo, G. Your speech. That up, kid. The butters, yo. What are you kidding me? that, man? <laughs> dropping some serious signs out there, yo. Hey. Man, we gotta hang, you know what I'm saying? Because Peeps out here doing what's up. <laughs> Peeps. The people. Oh, the people, yeah. The people, <laughs> you yeah. like the gig, kid. Eh? Oh, well, thank you, man. <laughs> Ain't no thing about chicken wine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we added 5,000. You stay tan now. All right, man. Oh, you yeah, coming, stop. you coming. I'm right here. I'm right behind you. Yeah. Uh, stop. Stop. Be careful, huh? Whatever. There's a bro man from around here. Oh, He's the state senator's son. Oh. This is perfect. We like to think of it as our little piece of heaven. <laughs> hey, hey, hands up the dog. Well, that's funny. Carl likes everybody. <laughs> Carl. Hey, a good dog, Carl. Come on, Sarah. Jason, how many times have I told you to pick that damn thing up? A lot, I think. Probably several, maybe. Come on. Come on, Carl. Let's go find a cat. 